Hey, Book Digitizers, Peter here. This is a, another follow-up video, follow-up to uh, a couple of videos I did a couple of years ago now that was showing how when you import a PDF document into Calibre, you often, depending on the source material, you will often get a very ugly cover, cover flow image and how even if you change the metadata to make it look pretty in Calibre, the underlying document, the underlying PDF document is not changed, it's not updated. And if you then download it to certain book readers, uh, uh, such as, uh, well, for example, Apple Books, uh, among many others, um, because they also use the first page of the PDF for the cover page, all that work you did to make it look pretty in Calibre is not transferred over. And the video I, videos I did was showing you how you would actually edit the underlying PDF to insert that new pretty cover page so it would look nice everywhere. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because I just discovered there's a plugin relatively new, I think it was released in February of 2024, and it lets you do that in Calibre. It's super easy, barely inconvenience. Let me show you how it's done. So again, just as a reminder of what we're talking about, let's say you've downloaded a PDF, a totally legal PDF. Um, here's another one from the American government. So I'm just gonna pull this in. It's a PDF and the cover page is kind of ugly. It's just a court document. It's got no, no, nothing pretty on it. Now you could live with that, except if you have a bunch of PDFs, maybe from similar sources, they're all gonna look the same. And if you use cover flow and caliber, it's not gonna look great. So. What I showed you before is if you go into edit metadata, so we'll click edit metadata, and then I want to change this cover. Maybe I can drag in, I've just prepared another pretty picture to put on top of it, and I say okay. Okay, now, now it's a little stretched out. I didn't spend a lot of time on this, but you get the idea. Looks okay in caliber, looks better than it did before. However, if I open up the underlying document, which I will now do, hasn't changed. The first page of the document is the same first page that we had before. So let me close that and just go back and show you the purpose of today's video. So if we go into Caliber, you want to install a plugin. Now there's all kinds of plugins. A bunch get sort of automatically installed with Caliber, but this one uh, doesn't seem to be automatically installed, but let me show you how to install it. So go into preferences here on the ribbon and under advanced click plugins and you can search for if you search for pdf or cover you will find that you probably don't have the one we're looking for that's okay we're going to click get new plugins down here in the left bottom left corner and a menu comes up and from here i'm going to search filter by name and let's do pdf cover or just pdf there it is pdf cover it's currently not installed it was released in February 5th of this year, 2024. So I'm going to click that. And the description is a plugin that prepends a cover image to the beginning of a PDF. That's exactly what we want to do. So I'm going to click the install button and it gives me a warning about security risk. I'm getting this plugin from the official source. So I'm not worried about that. I'll say, yes, please install it. And then it asked me where I want to uh, insert the button that I'm going to click to execute this uh, this little thing. So main toolbar and the main toolbar when the device is connected. Yeah, we'll say yes to both of those. Um, you know what? I'm also going to put it in the menu bar and the menu bar when a device is connected. That's probably good enough for now. So I'm going to say OK. Plugin PDF cover successfully installed under the user interface action. You may have to restart Calibre for it to take effect. And uh, let's just restart Calibre now. I'm not sure if that was necessary, but let's see what happens. Calibre restarts. Okay, so again, so so far nothing's happened. My document looks pretty in Calibre. It has the nice cover page that I added. But again, if I look at it, if I open up the underlying PDF, still looks pretty ugly. So let's close that. And now let's use this new plugin. Now that there's a new button on the ribbon up here at the top right. And this button says insert PDF cover. So all I have to do is basically all it's going to do is say take whatever cover page Calibre is using and insert it as the first page of the underlying PDF document. So I click that. Unfortunately, it doesn't give me any feedback. I just got to hope that it works, but I can check if it works by again, I'm going to open up the underlying PDF. And here we go. The first page of the PDF now is that image. So this is what will show up if I now take this PDF and export it to a number of book readers, to Apple Books, that sort of thing. 
So that's today's video, a new uh, new plugin that will help us do something that took a, a few steps before, but required a little bit of skill. And I, I'm never comfortable going into and editing the files in uh, the Caliber underlying library. It's possible you could mess something up with a couple of fat finger keystrokes and this way you don't have to do that. Just click one button. Once it's installed now, just one button click and this problem will be solved. Hope that helps everybody. Thanks.